for the latest in this breaking news story, let's go straight out to Kelsey Smith, reporter WHAM in New York. What have you learned tonight, Kelsey? I actually got an opportunity to sit down with uh, Alex's uncle, Peter Colgate. He tells me the family is devastated by the loss of Alex. He really is focusing on remembering Alex as a young girl, being giggly and spontaneous. He ex said she was excited to be a freshman at Brockport and was just really looking forward to her future. Um, this is what really horrifies me, uh, something we have learned about the suspect's past. Now, let's start with friends saying Clayton and Alex had been dating on and off for a couple of years, and one of Alex's friends thought he was a very nice guy. Check this out. As far as I knew, he he was a great guy. I didn't, it, it's so weird to think about um, someone that you graduated with, shared that kind of memory with, could do such an awful thing. Let me pause and say, look what a beautiful young woman that was. Uh, here's the suspects. Cops in Brevard County, Florida, wouldn't say he was such a nice guy, okay? I'm holding in my hand his arrest report. He was arrested January 2011. They encountered, cops say they encountered a very, very rageful and angry drunk. Operative word drunk Clayton Whitmore in January of last year, and they had to arrest him for disorderly intoxication. Cops found an intoxicated male knocking on a door, and despite numerous warnings, he would not settle down. When placed in the patrol car, cops say he began yelling, screaming, and cursing at the top of his lungs. Mark Iglarsh, former prosecutor, and you've got speaktomark.com. You can ask your questions to Mark Iglos yourself, speaktomark.com. Uh, listen, I'm a recovering alcoholic. I know alcohol can unleash rage. Um, it makes a person uninhibited. When I saw this police report, I said, oh, alcohol, rage, bad combo. It's very, very likely. And it made me immediately think of the George Hughley case out of the University of Virginia, where a star lacrosse player also arguably a good-looking guy, good-looking victim, went, alcohol was a big issue, and he allegedly physically beat her to death. And he just was sentenced to 23 years. I think if this confession is as solid as law enforcement is alleging, he's looking at the same fate.